Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Lighting Your Sunshine, where we like to shine a light within and empower ourselves. So no message, let's just get shuffling and see what's, I was gonna say what spirit wants, but interesting. We've got release and reverse. How often do you hear that? Usually it's like, this one's saying like, hold on to something. Lately, it's been, it's been a lot of loss. It has, it's been, it's been tough, but it's been, it's been worth it. So now this reading is talking about something worth holding on to. What's worth fighting for? Your soul, your soul knows. It just, it gravitates to it. It says, work with Archangel Michael to let go of what no longer serves you or your purpose. So holding on to something with Archangel Michael. Let's set this one up like this. You can't see, but I can. <laughs> okay, then the next one, we've got Crown Chakra. It says, pay attention to your ideas as they are messages of true divine guidance sent in to answer your prayers. And so we're gonna stop there because this one, I was talking about holding on to something and then it mentioned Archangel Michael. And so Archangel Michael's color, blue. <laughs> that is so much blue there. So what are we holding on to? There's an idea, there's an inspiration or something. Let me just... Okay. They say these are the only two cards we need to get today. So what's standing out is over here, we have the blue birds. And then over here, inside this um, pantheon type thing, there's this this ball, this energy, kind of trapped. Now I'm noticing the water falling down. So, what is it that you need to hold on to? It is that thought process. So what I'm hearing is Archangel Michael and you have this dialogue going on. You might, I don't know if you believe that you can connect to them and hear them, but I'm getting that you are. That he's there to protect your crown chakra from any outside energies like sabotaging your idea before you can internalize it and then bring it to earth in its physical manifestation. So what about it, Michael? Everywhere I keep looking on these cards. Ooh, now I'm feeling it. I'm feeling, I'm feeling the back of my heart kind of pour like this. And there's water here. There's something to do with emotions. And, and I think, I think what it's saying is you have this thought or this idea of something. And every time you think of it, it makes you feel trapped. It makes you feel um, nervous. This this energy, it's an emotion actually. This emotion that keeps coming up and it's Archangel Michael who's working through it with you. Um, you keep avoiding it. You wanna run, you wanna like cut ties and like it doesn't exist. But what he's saying is this is worth your time and effort. It's worth holding on to. If you run away, You'll be so sad because this emotion, this emotional experience, when you kind of work through it, um, it's going to be overflowing. Your cup will be so full, they say. But if you were to cut ties now, well, your cup's going to be empty. So pay attention to your ideas as they are messages of true divine guidance sent in to answer your prayers. So Archangel Michael, I don't know if you've been connecting with him or working with him, but he does have his flaming blue sword. And I see that he like cuts cords and those kind of things, right? He's very good at protection and that kind of stuff. And I see a lesson coming because he wants you to stand in your power, in your emotions, because your emotions and your vulnerability is like this fine-tuned dial of understanding the energy around you. And so you're getting this information and he's providing it to you. And, and I see you, it's uncomfortable or something and like trying to clear it or cut it rather than answer the, the knock. 
Um, cause again, it's like you have your cup. It's this new exciting thing. And, and spirit always says, I learned this when I was in, in a class once and it just stuck with me. And it was one of the students and she said, be you till full. Beautiful stands, if you break it down, be you till you're full. And so they, they explained it as a teacup on a saucer. And so you do not give from your full cup because then you have nothing else to give. Then you're deplete and you're void. So you fill up your cup. You just keep pouring into yourself. And then the overflow is what you share with the world. So the saucer is the only part that you give to others because you have to fill yourself up first. So what I'm, I'm seeing is that there's this opportunity, like this is like, you know, when you picture like Greek gods in the sky, um, Olympus, that's where it is. And they're giving you this gift. And it's like, you just have to put your cup there and fill it up. But I see someone being like, um, Archangel Michael, get rid of this cup, <laughs> but it's your cup. And, and once this starts to flow, it's going to untrap this, this, this moon, right? Moon is illusions, those kind of things. But this, this is your power. And once you unleash your power, that's when things are going to be flowing, they say. Seems like things are stuck right now. And that's because you keep running away from something. What is it that you're running from? And picking up, it really is an emotion. And Archangel Michael wants you to feel this emotion. Learn what this emotion is trying to tell you. And then, and then make the decision if you lean in further to discover more depth or cut ties. But first, why is it there, right? Why? We have to ask why and then shift it to how or whatever is the next step. Anything else I'm missing? The trees. Um, so there's just all these little trees in the background. It's like this floating island. And then there's this one tree here. And, and I get that like this, this is kind of, um, what is this? It's, it's like a mirage kind of thing. It's this fantasy. And then this is what you, you feel like reality is, but this is what spirit's trying to gift you. And you're settling for this half cup. So, um, take your cup <laughs> and fill it up. They say, just let the overpour come. There's just so much, um, wisdom and experience in this depths. I just see, I do see a release of emotions that have been trapped in a well, not a well, a dam. And so, you know, it might be emotional. You might, you might cry. And so what spirit's saying is like, cry. That's the emotion that this person's been avoiding, crying. And once you cry, once you let the floodgates, that's when everything is open. And like, that's when the, the waters kind of wash over and heal whatever this, this kind of like dry, barren land is. So if you're sad, you're allowed to feel sad. I don't know. I do feel like it might not even be like something that's so bad that you're trying to avoid. It's just an emotion. And from this emotion, it could almost be like a trigger of like something that you're so thankful for. And then you start crying. I don't know. I see crying happening, but I don't, I don't see it as a, a negative thing though. I feel like it is going to water, water the land and then the land will become more abundant again. And then this glowing orb will be I'm hearing you are my sunshine. It's almost like this, this is trapped. This is the moon and the moon has trapped the sun and the sun wants to come out and it's so sad. And now I'm seeing like, when I was little, I used to watch this Sesame Street show movie called Follow That Bird. And it's like um, Big Bird, he wants to run away um, because he feels like he doesn't quite fit in with everyone. And then so these people, they find him, they take advantage of him, they capture him, they throw him in a cage, they turn him blue. Oh my gosh, there's so much more into this. And so he, he becomes like this caged performer and, and he becomes sad. He really does. And he doesn't think that he has the support system of everyone else around him. 
And it's such a false illusion because in the movie, everybody's looking for him. And like, the only reason why I, wa I remember this movie is like, my parents still quote it to this day. There's just so many funny moments in it. But yeah, the dodos are in there too, the dodos. And uh, dodos are extinct. And so I feel like to you, something that you think doesn't belong here, it's, it's long gone, it's extinct, um, is coming back. It's almost like, um, dude, okay, what's it called? There's this perfume, I can't remember what it's called, but it's so cool. They, they found like old, old herbs or something, extinct, extinct plants. And then they like, I don't know how they make perfume, but somehow they got the essence of this extinct plant. And then they took that, recreated it, and then they added it to this perfume. And I want to smell that so bad. I'm so curious to know what this one scent that we don't even have here on earth, like technology and things are so cool. We're advancing and doing such fun things that the world is kind of a little more magical than just this. And so I think that's something that you think is long gone or not even a potential thing. That dodo bird, that extinct thing, I don't know, it's got a lot more life to it than, than I think you're giving it credit to. So they're saying this feeling, this longing, whatever it is, lean into it. Um, cause in the end, everyone does come and get big bird and they do realize that he is surrounded and loved and, and then things go back to the rainbow moment. Anything else? They're saying pay attention to birds. There's this bird messenger. I'm seeing the, this is the heart. This is the sunshine. This is something and it like, I don't know. There's just something to do with birds and blue and Big Bird was blue in that movie. Follow that bird, follow that bird. I don't know, there's a message in there. Blue is not always sad. I feel like this, this is the crown chakra. This blue is indigo. This is more third eye crown. And this is spirit leading you out of the cage and to take flight. And bring whatever this really cool thing is. This is like a mirage. This is something extinct. This is something that is so long lost that once it comes back to earth, like, I need to smell this perfume. I do, because how did they do that? I'm so thankful with the technology we have and for others who who just push the boundaries. So we'll leave it there. Have a good day and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.